does have that all that stuff right there too all these things good turn signal real quick so we, we we set the canvas so when you hit the turn signal it no longer shows that side camera i showed you the settings for that what's up guys it's your boy john we're back again here with a new head unit this is a decida and we have uh, we had the Type R in. This is a 2017 Type R. Now, generally, the SIs, the Civic Tourings, they have the upgraded audio. I'm not sure if it's Bose or not, but they have an amplifier that makes units like this or like any Pioneer, Sony, they don't work without um, bypassing it. News is, you can now bypass it with the Decida unit, so check it out. We have all these cool goodies, instruction manuals, and then the unit itself. So hopefully the harnesses that are included here are going to be able to bypass the amp and we'll have audio. Here are some more wires. Then we have the unit itself. And nice big screen. Good phone. Good bags. Woo, look at that. Huge display. Single DIN in the back. We got the GPS, Wi Fi, FM, AM radio, HDMI out if you want to display more video options or audio through this port, followed by the main harness and accessory wires. Like, think of tire pressure, TV, USB cables, DVRs additional cameras these are where the ports go on the side you have nothing just mounting on this side you do have a micro sd slot which is definitely handy top shows the wiring diagram front shows kind of like a home music gps volume up and down now the this system will work with your steering wheel controls and you'll still retain the backup camera. So I know it doesn't have a knob or anything. Some people don't like it. Some people prefer the cleaner look of having no knobs, but you still be able to use your steering wheel to increase and decrease those volumes and skip and all that. But yeah, let's get started with the install in the Type R. I'm gonna cut to removing this stuff and we'll move forward from there. Clips. So this basically our goal when removing this is to um, remove the AC unit first. It's actually there's one more clip here. You want to be definitely gentle. There you go. So there's a clip. That one's kind of rugged and you got the four clips total. You definitely want to use a tool. It's so much easier. Look at that comes out this is the first time we're removing this all right so next thing to do, take the ac out you see how it protrudes out a little bit right here you want to get your uh, tool you just pretty much want to pop it up on this side and then you can do that let me see if i can do this one hand try not to break it of course there you go so didn't take that much pressure at all from what you guys saw and i did that one hand all right so even though there's these two screws and then these ones you don't need to remove these small ones just these main ones and then the, t the rest is held by clips all right so we have the head unit removed and you can see all the wires now we're going to be using the new decider head unit right here into this piece all these wires so let me just go over some of the wires right now if you guys are curious these are generally usb cables Right there, steering wheel controls possibly, or the back of camera, followed by power and stuff like that. These, anything rounded like this are generally antennas. And then some of these bottom ones are going to be the um, climate control and possibly XM radio um, antenna, which we are no longer going to have. Now let's plug in everything we have here into that and then I'll go over the rest. All right, just to go over two harnesses that this head unit came with. This one is for the Honda Civic power cable, 16, I guess that's a 17 to 22. And then this one is also, see if it's labeled. This one says 17, let's see if I can have a focus for you. 
17 CRV. And this should work with the Bose sound system. Um, appearance wise, the harnesses look very similar. Um, same kind of connectors and everything are very similar. Uh, the one thing that I can tell you is those, those tags. And then for the CAN bus, they have this extra little wire here. So if you have a Honda Civic Si or the Touring with the amplifier, you definitely want this one that says CRV. And then if you just have the normal like base Civic, you want this bad boy right here. I got my little pup. And uh, yeah. So we're gonna plug this to the back of the the head unit, as you can see right there. And we have some other things plugged in. This is gonna be important for the backup cameras and so forth. Um, the backup camera is, you'll see it, it should say camera VIN, rear camera or something like that. It might be on, it's a yellow plug. So there's the video camera VIN. There you go, so. That's what we're gonna need there. So I'm gonna put the base Civic one over there and we're gonna install it inside and see if it's gonna fit the Type R. All right, so after removing the OEM head unit, we're plugging in the new stuff. Let me go over the wiring. These first two wires right here are going to be the USBs. So you have a USB down here where you can see the white charging cable comes and there's one down here. Now the white, uh, the one with the white cable right now is this green one. The We had to make some modifications, um, some as an, actually you can say it's a little major. We had to trim this portion because it would not fit in the connector. I don't know why it's like that, but we trimmed the, um, the head unit came, if you're buying it from the side, it will come with two USBs. And you can see this one has been modified. If I can zoom in, and then this one doesn't. Uh, the notching on this one, you can kind of see there's a little key right there. So it's like straight and then right there it looks like a little key blade coming out. That will prevent this from uh, pushing in so I cut that out. But it works perfectly fine. We're charging up an iPhone 13 or uh, 14 Pro. Um, so that's good. We plugged in pretty much every cable here um, besides these antennas. So anything that's circular we didn't plug in. So I'm just going to go through one. These, this is like the audio line so you definitely want this. Uh, this one's the, with the Type R, with the Bose, Honda Civic, and then the Touring models. You want to have the CRV connector right here. And um, a good way to tell that if you have the CRV connector is there are two CAN buses right here. So you have a big one and a small one. It's all laid out right there. And then we have the line out, line R and line L. For some reason, we had to plug it into the rear. We tried the front, it didn't sound that good because I think we're not powering the subwoofer. But with these two right here, we're now powering that subwoofer. Then we're getting better audio. Um, another thing you can do is also split these two in the Y splitters so you can get um, audio, more audio as well. Um, for the backup camera, which we do have, it does work. Make sure you have camera in to the, and the other side it says camera VIN. And if you throw this into, Oh, sorry. Yeah, throw it into reverse. You can see that, and it does have these multiple views. You can add lines after the fact. They're not going to be super accurate, but um, that's just how it is. Um, the primary use for this car right now is we're going to use Z-Link a lot, um, or Bluetooth audio. In Z-Link, we have Apple CarPlay playing. You hook up the Bluetooth. You're going to be set, you're going to be perfectly fine there. And just let me just show you some Type R stuff real quick. Uh, or Honda stuff. It will show you his MPG 27.6. This guy drives like a grandma. I don't. <laughs> yeah, Type R. You know, that's crazy, man. Yeah. Air conditioning does work too, so we can see that on the screen. Control settings. We were actually messing with this, and it actually does work. So if you were doing headlight timers, and there's a lot of customizations you can do, TPMX corrections, and um, all that stuff. So there's some stuff going on. Default on and everything miles per hour. We were doing we we're messing with a tack display earlier, and I don't know if it'll do it now, but it will. It will change your tack right there. I think that's those are like shift lights or something like that. Hmm. 
So <laughs> that's pretty crazy. So it's all it's all there. Remote start. Of course, this car doesn't have it, or maybe it can now. But it's all there for you. I'm just going through the settings. Um, yeah, and let me just show you guys the CAN bus settings real quick too. So we were messing with this a lot. Go to car settings. Go to factory settings. So if your car, if you have the Civic uh, 126 is the code, if you have the Civic EX Touring and you have the side cameras on the right, um, those are sometimes defaulted on. Actually, can you turn your signals on real quick, just the, just the right? You see how it actually changes screen? Turn off if you can. So to fix that, we have to make it so it doesn't do that. So the right view, we're gonna hide that. And that should make it so, I think we have to flash it, try again. So right now it's gonna say like, cause what it's doing, it's, it's firing off this right camera. And yeah, obviously there's nothing there cause we're in, in the type R. So you got you have to change it. And here's just the settings and uh, we'll go over that. Everything else is kind of plug and play. Look at the instructions. I just wanted to go over the more, most complicated portions and we're gonna wrap this up, ask any questions. Uh, the main takeaway is those two audio ports, the camera VIN, the CAN bus settings for that right camera when you use the right signal, um, two USBs, the green one is the one right here that does has to be modified. Other than that, we'll just wrap it up. And, uh, ooh, nice Honda emblem. Doors are open, that's cool. Uh, can you do the right signal? Boom. See, it's not doing that no more. We throw it in reverse. Usually, those two, these two signals right here, these camera ones, they kind of override everything. So if you're watching, if, you're, if your car is booting up or whatever, and you throw in reverse, it will just slam into this thing. Same with that signal thing. If you signal, but we turned it off. We hit it. Um, yep. So wrapping it up, and we'll show you how it looks, everything wrapped up. From there to there. Oh, another thing we need to speak about is there's these white clips right here that needs to be transferred over um it's pretty easy to do you just kind of lift it up right here and then pull pop it out and pop it into the new one and to pop it in so i imagine this is over there right now you just kind of slide it in that's it so yeah we're just going to wrap out the interior do everything in reverse order and you should be fine How's your charging? It's good. All right, so we are done with the Civic Type R. This will also work for the Honda Civic and the Touring again. We have the head unit right here looking beautiful. Uh, the vents are, the, the screen is so much bigger that it does cover the vents pretty much the bottom the little fin, so it's not too bad. Um, other than that, let me just show you something. Boom, open the door. You'll see the door open, trunk, rear door, all that stuff will open. You change the ACs, we'll show all that shit, all that information there. Um, can you clutch it down real quick mm -hmm. and then put the brick? And reverse camera. It does have that, all that stuff right there too, all these things. Good. Turn signal real quick. So we, we, we set the canvas, so when you hit the turn signal, it no longer shows that side camera. I showed you the settings for that. Um, but yeah, if you're really interested in this product, check in the link to the description below. We'll put a Amazon link and maybe an AliExpress link down there for you. And just have any other, uh, any questions, just, just message me. Okay. Have a great time here.